We propose a novel data-driven approach for inertial navigation, which learns to estimate trajectories of natural human motions from motion sensors in every smartphone. IMU is energy efficient and works even in complete darkness. Our system is able to estimate motion trajectories anytime, anywhere, with minimal additional energy consumption. This work, in particular, handles smartphones in a leg pocket, in a bag, handheld, or body mounted. We now explain the details of our approach. Most modern smartphones are equipped with inertial measurement units. IMU typically consists of a gyroscope, an accelerometer, and a magnetometer. A gyroscope measures the angular velocities around the x, y, and z axes. An accelerometer measures the acceleration of the device position and the gravity along the x, y, and z axes. In theory, the position is estimated by integrating the acceleration twice after subtracting the gravity. However, this theory does not work in practice as even small noise or errors explode quickly in the double integration process. We propose a robust double integration algorithm, which takes a data-driven approach to robustly estimate device positions only from IMU signals. Our system first regresses a velocity vector from the history of angular velocities and linear accelerations in the past second. We employ a cascaded regression model, where we classify the device placement type by a support vector machine, then regress the velocity by type-specific support vector regression. Suppose the orange curve shows the regress velocities. We estimate low frequency corrections in the accelerations so that their integration matches the regress velocities. We formulate our approach as a linear least squares problem. We double integrate the corrected accelerations to estimate the device positions. Next, we show selected experimental results compared against the classical step counting method and the ground truth. We obtain the ground truth by a visual inertial odometry system while using body belts to ensure that the camera is always visible. In the first example, the device is mounted near the leg pocket. The subject walks at a constant speed with a stop in the middle. Both methods work well. In the second example, the device is held by a hand. The subject slightly turns the upper body to the left while walking forward. The step counting method assumes that the device orientation is equal to the motion direction and makes large errors. In this example, the device is mounted on a body. The subject turns around and walks backwards in the middle. The step counting method again makes large errors. Our method successfully produces a straight directory despite the change of device orientations due to spinning. Finally, we show an example in which a subject starts walking with a smartphone in a hand, puts it inside a bag, places it on a table, and finally puts it inside a pants pocket. We compare against the step counting method. Here, the subject puts the phone inside a bag, nearly sideways with respect to the motion direction. Our method can properly infer motion directions regardless of the varying device orientations. Here, the subject places the phone on a table.
Here, the subject puts the device into the pants pocket. The phone is completely inside the bag or the pocket, making the evaluation against the ground truth from the visual inertial odometry system impossible. Therefore, we overlay the estimated motion trajectory on a floor plan with the manual alignment, demonstrating the effectiveness of our approach. We believe that this work makes an important step towards low energy, anytime, anywhere navigation system, whose impact to scientific and industrial applications could be profound. Please refer to our project website for the paper, code, and data. Thank you for watching.